souls! He's stubborn. What a pain in the ass. Let me devour them! Yes, you did deprout they take them out! Oh, but let me deliver the finishing blow! Alright, we're touching the ground and help me out already! My hands! What happened to my hands? Hmm. That massage was pretty average. Needs work. That's quite a pathetic display, Fox Sin Bomb. Are you really being outplayed by these low-level fools? Ah, oh, stop yammering and look out behind you! To remain calm and collected is the earned right of the powerful. What? What just happened? Those spirits are being fueled by Meliodas' negative energy. <laughs> well, well. It would appear that a more drastic approach is in order here. Out of respect for the fact that you're a woman, I will refrain from aiming at your face. How very audacious. You've completely ignored the kindness that I've shown you. Well, in that case, why don't we let our fists do the talking until we're completely satisfied? Now then. Let's see you struggle with all your might. You really think a human can beat a demon? <laughs> Without a shred of doubt! Don't you touch me, human. <laughs> hmm. I'm warning you. Come at me again like that and you'll suffer. Well, I hate to admit it, but you're absolutely right. You are quite powerful. I'd say you're second only to me. How about we pick up where we left off? Hmm. Super Slash! It seems that only changed the way you talk. <laughs> Cruel son! 
try full counter. That was kind of fun. Probably the most fun I've had since facing off against my brother. <clears throat> Pretty impressive for a human. Too bad I have to kill. Eskinor's power increases throughout the day along with the sunrise, reaching its peak potential at exactly high noon. For one minute, He'll be the manifestation of invincibility. He then becomes... The One. You still had that up your sleeve, huh? One thousand divine cuts! That almost tickles. Hmm. Holy sword. Escanor. Whatever you may be. How does it feel to be looked down upon by a human? All right. We bought all the stuff we need for Gother's repairs, so why don't we head back to the inn? About that favor, thank you very much in advance. I'll be right there with you, so do your own confessing. Whoops. First, it appears we have some company. Huh? You there, walking with that pig. Who are you? What do we have here? It's Princess Margaret, who's been taken over by one of the four Archangels. I believe we had the chance to meet last night, if you recall. What? We've already met each other? Pardon me. I find it irksome to be looked down upon by someone smaller. I'm sure you can appreciate my dilemma. Could that be him? Now let's try this again. I'm Escanor, the Lion Sin. You remember? I'm one of the seven deadly sins. And how did you hide your magical power last night? Well, I wouldn't say that I was hiding it exactly. My ability simply doesn't manifest until after the sun comes up, that's all. So this type of power springs to life at the break of dawn, and the level increases incrementally as noon approaches, right? Well, well, look at that. My cursed power is so notorious even the goddess race has heard of it and is familiar with how it works. Oh, your cursed power, huh? Don't give me that. Who was it? Who did you steal it from? Wait, what? Just what do you think you're doing? Let me remind you that the humans and the goddesses are known allies. There's no call for you to attack me completely out of the blue like that. I want my question answered! Sorry, but I don't understand what you're asking me. Stop attacking him for no reason, Archangel Jerkface! With all due respect, you must stop. You may have inhabited a princess, but if you make too much mischief... <laughs> a fast one. Did you really think you anticipated my moves? Huh? 
The power you wield is a grace bestowed upon one of the four archangels by the supreme deity, much like what the Ten Commandments are given. Does that clear things up? The grace I was bestowed with is Flash, Tarmiel's is Ocean, while Sariel's is Tornado, and the fourth grace is Sunshine. This was the ability given to my late brother Mael of the four archangels. His power would initiate at dawn and would begin increasing with each passing second. By noon, even I had no chance against him. But 3,000 years ago, my brother was murdered by a Ten Commandment, thus losing his life and his grace. It seems you're implying my power is that grace. A gift from the Supreme Deity is divine, and if a human should acquire one, it would consume their body without fail, eventually destroying them. And I believe no one must be more aware of that than you. Know your place and respect mine, human. If you don't wish to die, I urge you to relinquish that grace this very instant. I have no interest in your words or warnings. Sunshine isn't anything I acquired in bad faith. It's the power that I was born with. And for the sake of argument, even if my ability is what you would call a grace, then this particular one must have chosen me of its own accord. And I don't blame it, as I am the most powerful and exalted one of them all. You should actually be quite grateful, because whoever has me as an ally can consider victory as an outcome that's inevitable. The King of Arrogance strikes again! <laughs> <laughs> I like you, human. I'm glad you're in my ranks. You may prove rather handy. <laughs> How presumptuous of you. We're on the same side, but just make sure you don't get in my way. <laughs>